Hi everyone, so in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a bubu kimono jacket. So if the sound like something you're interested to learn, keep on watching and let's get started. So guys, the first thing you need to do is to fold your fabric by four. I've already folded mine and I pinned it down as well to avoid it shifting from one place to another, okay? So after this pinning, I'll measure the wideness I have at that upper part. So what I had here was 16 inch, okay? I had 16 inch here, can you see? So the next thing I will do now is to come down by one and a half inch for shoulder slope. I'll mark one and a half inch here for shoulder slope. And I'll also mark three inch for neck width. Okay, on the side, I marked three inch for neck width. And I'll just go ahead and connect the shoulder slope to the neck width. Just like this. Okay, after I was done with that, I am going to now come down by seven and a half inch this is for the armhole dead but because this is a bubu kimono jacket i had to just come down by eight inch that means i added extra half an inch to it okay so from the shoulder i came down by the waistline of 16 inch from the waistline i'll come down by 18 this is for the hip line okay so from the waistline you come down by 18 that is for the hip line and i'm also going to mark two inch this is for the neck depth and I'll go ahead and connect in a round neckline. I'll just connect the round neckline here. So once I'm through with that, I'll mark quarter of the bust side conference plus extra five inch. Okay. And for the waist on the waistline, I'll mark quarter of the waist side conference plus five inch. On the hip line, I'll mark quarter of the hip side conference plus five inch. So I'll just connect from the bust line to the hip line. Okay. So I'll also go ahead and make the armhole curve like you just curve it connect it this way once i'm through with that i will take the length of this kimono so the total length i have there was 43 inch including the allowance so i'll just measure what i have there on the hip line then connect from the hip line to the down part okay so after this i will cut it out This was what I had after I was done cutting. The next thing I want to do is to take out one of the piece. And the one I will take out will serve as the back piece, okay? So for this other piece, I will just fold it into two because I want to do the front neckline. So go ahead and arrange your piece this way. Then after folding, from the neck width, I'm going to just connect. Just look at what I'm doing here. Go ahead and connect like this. So for that space there, you can maintain the neck width of 3 inch. So when you get to that um, waistline, you can just take it down by 1 inch, okay? All through to the end. After marking the 1 inch to the end, you can now cut it out. Okay, go ahead and cut it out like this. So guys, after cutting, this is what I have. Can you see? After I was done cutting, I had something looking like this. The next thing I want to do now is to place them the right side, facing each other like this. After placing, I will head over straight to my sewing machine. Then I'll stitch the shoulder with half an inch, okay? Go ahead and stitch with half an inch like this. After stitching, guys, this was what I had, as you can see. So the next thing I want to do now is to take the measurement I have from this end part from there i'll continue to measure so what i had from there to this side of the neckline was 60 inch and i'll continue from there to this other end so what i had there was that seven inch okay i also caught the band so you can see i have a very long band here and the length is four inch while the wideness is about the 60 inch and plus the 37 inch I measured on the dress, okay? And I had excess as well. So I also joined it to give me a very long piece. So from that joint part, I am going to now fold it. So that joint part now will become my midpoint. That is the center side of the band. So I'm going to notch the center back. That is the center back of the neckline. Just understand it that way. So I'll just notch, then I'll place it this way. I'll place the join um, band on that exact spot, then go ahead and sew it half an inch or two. So after sewing, guys, this was what I had, as you can see. Can you see this was what I had? So what I'll do next is to trim out a little 
like a, a little rough um rough edge i'll just go ahead and trim it out so it's not showing at the front part okay so after trimming guys this was what i had you can see how neat it now looks so the next thing i will do is to attach band on this sleeve side so i measured like two and a half here for the wideness then now i'll fold it by two okay you fold it by two then you place them right side facing each other go ahead and sew with half an inch do the same thing on the other side as well after sewing guys this was what i had can you see i did the same thing on the other side so the next thing i will do is to turn the wrong side of the dress then i'll go ahead and stitch okay i'll stitch down with one inch then also for the hem part okay i'll also repeat the same thing on the other side after shaping this dress guys this was what i had can you see and this was the hem part so this is how the dress the kimono looks like can you see so guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and again before we finally end this video i would want you guys to kindly watch a tutorial on how i made this beautiful crop top with basque in front and front okay so this was the inner top inside the kimono jacket i placed on my mannequin okay so in that video i made i made it with another fabric not particularly this one but it was the exact cutting and everything different here was just the sleeve all right this is just a short basic sleeve so guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye